Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. In this video, we are going to create a custom collection view cell. Alright, so let's get started. So I'm going to come to the onboarding view controller over here and then let's scroll down all the way to the bottom and let's create a class over here. Okay, so let's call this onboarding collection view cell. So the super class will be UI collection view cell. So let's select this one over here. And then I uh, want to come back to the uh, main.storyboard. So there are a couple of things that we need. So we need to, um, we need this as an outlet and we need this as a IB action. And I think we also need this view as an, as an outlet as well, okay? So let's come back to the uh, onboarding view controller and let's create the outlets over here. So IB outlet. So let's uh, weak var, let's call this the animation view. So this will be of type UI view. And then we also need, uh, let's, uh, we also need the label, okay? So let's do um, title label, okay? Let's do of type UI label. Uh, we also need the IB action for the button. So let's do IB action. So let's call this uh, action button tap. Okay, we can do something like that. And uh, maybe if you want to, you can just add in the center. But I think uh, we don't really need this. So let's uh, not add this in. Okay, so let's come back to the main.storyboard. And then uh, let's assign this collection view uh, cell to, sorry, this one. Let's assign this collection view cell to be the onboarding collection view cell. So let's come under the identity inspector and then uh, under this class, let's type in onboarding and you should see this onboarding collection view cell over here. So let's hit the enter button. And then I'm going to just right click on this and you should see the outlets over here, the animation view. So let's uh, select this and let's drag this to the yellow view over here. For the title label, I'm going to click on this and let's drag this to foot at its best label. Uh, and we have the action button tab. So let's click on this and let's also bring this to the get started button. And when you release this, you should see this panel. Let's select uh, touch up inside. All right. I think we also do need a reference for the uh, action button. So let's uh, just create this right now. Let's come over to the onboarding view controller and let's also create the IB outlet for that. Add IB outlet. Uh, with var action button and then this will be of type ui button okay let's uh, add in the exclamation mark and then uh, let's create a function over here uh, okay guys before we do that let's make sure that we connect this otherwise we might run the app and it crashes and it might leave us clueless so let's just do this right here first okay so right click on this and then uh, the action button so let me just connect this to the get started button over here all right, guys, so next thing we want to do is to add a configure uh, function over here, configure, and then we want to be able to configure the cell through some kind of object, okay? So maybe let's uh, let's come over to the top over here and let's uh, just, uh, just cast this as onboarding collection view cell so that we can call the configure method. So in the meantime, we are just going to say cell.configure. So all right, we're not passing in anything. And of course, this is um, this function does nothing, but we're going to fix this later. OK, so let's come all the way to the top over here and let's create a strut. So this will be a model that represents the uh, text that we have uh, inside this uh, in each of these uh, cells over here. OK, so maybe for this strut, I'm going to call this slide and then we're going to have a couple of properties. So firstly, we have the title and then we're going to uh, use Lottie so we want to specify the animation name so this will be of type string and then we want to have the button color so this will be of type UI color and we also want to have the button title as well so very evidently this will be a string and let's create a collection over here so let's do static lab collection all right so the collection is nothing more than just an array of slide okay so let's uh, do it this way Okay, so let's open up the uh, square brackets over here and let's type in dot init. Okay, so for the title, maybe let's call this get your favorite food delivered to you under 30 minutes anytime. Okay, something like that. And for the animation name, maybe let's leave this as, a, as an empty string for now. So for the button color, we want it to be uh, maybe system yellow. Okay, system yellow. Okay, and for the title, let's call this next. 
So uh, I want to just uh, hit the comma and then hit the enter uh, on my keyboard to bring me to the next line and then I'm going to do dot in it again. Alright guys, so for this example, we just want to have two slides. Of course, if you want to have more, just feel free to add in to this collection array over here, okay? So uh, for the title, I'm going to say we surf uni from choice restaurants in your area. Okay, since we have a full stop here, uh, okay, maybe let's remove the full stop so that it's consistent with this one over here. And then for the animation name, again, an empty string. For the button color, let's do system green. Green. Okay, and for the button title, maybe let's call this order now. All right, so I think this should be pretty simple. And then right now what I want to do is to come over to the onboarding view controller under the collection view IB outlet. Let's just create a an instance of the slides. So let's do private led slides. So this will be an array of slide and then you'll be slide dot collection. All right, which is this uh, property over here. Okay, so now we can do number of items in section. We can return a slides dot count. And then uh, now we want to add this uh, slide uh, strut into the uh, collection view cell. So we can come over here and then let's do configure with slide, which is of type slide. Okay, so evidently this is going to break. So let's just hit the fix button over here. And then let's get um, the slide itself. So let's slide equals to equals to slides. And then let's open the square brackets. And then we're going to pass in index path dot item or index path dot row. Okay, it's up to you. And then we can just pass in the slide over here. Okay, cool. So let's come back to the onboarding collection view cell. So when we configure this with the slide object, we will have access to, uh, okay, so we have the title, right? So let's do title label dot text equals to slide dot title. All right, we do um, action button uh, dot, uh, what do we have? We have the color, right? So uh, background color equals to slide dot button color. Uh, also action button dot um, let's do set title okay so set title um, let's do a slide dot um, is that a button title yeah for let's do normal okay I think that should be good and uh, let's just run the um, project right now to see if we see the uh, updated information on the collection view cell itself all right so get your favorite food and we serve only from choice. Okay, so guys, I think we can fix this part over here. So let's come back to the main.storyboard and then uh, we want to make sure that this label is multi-line. So maybe let's set this from one to zero and maybe we can make this a little bit smaller. So maybe instead of 24, maybe let's do 20. Okay, let's see how this goes. Feel free to adjust this accordingly. So I'm going to click on the done button and then let's uh, rerun the simulator one more time. And I believe this should look much better. Okay, so this is pretty cool. So we have the yellow button that says next and then we have the green order button over here. All right, guys, this is all I have for you in this video. I'll see you in the next one.